G'day and welcome to Stitch Up and Planet Coaster and another episode. Right, coming off the back of a super um, pr pr uh, productive episode um, last time where we got our boat ride that goes through the waterfall and uh, it's all coming along nicely. So a couple of things we want to do this episode. Um, I notice there's no toilets at all in the park. So what we'll do is we're going to pop some toilets down here and I've found some that are in there. Some of the adventure toilets. Uh, let's have a look. Lou. And I think these little adventure ones were pretty good. Um, but what I think I will also do is just move some bamboo um, from here. Uh, and I think I'll put them sort of here. Um, and just remove a few bamboos. So these things are quite big and uh, we've got, they actually have a little path that goes behind as well. So um, let's pop them down here and then we'll get them right over there against the bamboo. I don't mind the bamboo growing on the other side um, and stuff. Um, and I know they've got a bit of a temple theme to them, but I think that's cool because um, Actually, I want to keep that uh, palm tree. I know they got a little temple thing, but I think that's kind of cool because um, the um, uh, even though it's the only bit of that sort of Mayan temple um, throughout this side of the park, it might be kind of cool if um, the story is that you know um, the Mayans um, or these uh, you know the Mayan-looking um, builders, they. Um, this is one of the only structures that we managed to put here. So maybe their civilization is somewhere over there and that's where the boat ride will go. But they uh, managed to uh, expand their empire this way. And this is as far as they got. So that's a, that could be kind of the backstory as to why uh, we've got this little um, one simple kind of temple structure. Um, cool. People are using those toilets already, which is great. Um, we'll just uh, let's see here. And I like that you can kind of see the back of the um, back of the plane there. I think that's pretty cool. Um, we'll do a little bit more decorating here. Um, oh, I don't like how that goes. Can we can we undo that? Can we? Can we? Can we? Yeah, I think we can. Let's do undo this and let's see if we can go. Hmm. Let's see if we can go out and out and. Uh, Hmm, that's not going to work either. I'm on the shortest possible. Okay, but what we'll do is we'll get rid of, get rid of, get rid of, and then what we'll do is we'll go up, and then here we shall go... Uh, we'll make it up a little bit further, and then back in here. And then this way we can pop something in, in here. We've got a little, um, little, uh, what is he, skeleton? He's doing his thing, so... We'll make some we'll make good use of that um let's get rid of that plant that's randomly popped out of that um path and these bamboos as well um oh i do like how the back of that sort of uh vine just goes across the path that's good trip hazard total trip hazard but that kind of works okay um right that's the toilet done uh we'll come back and sort of fix that up a little bit but in the meantime um we need to work out how we're going to do this. All right, so we're going to put the new log flume right around here and I want to get to it this episode. But in the meantime, we were I think instead of having a path where guests would come from um, this side of the park and walk around the mountain, at this point, the only way to get to the second part is via the train. So, uh, and we'll put a station in there. So we use it as a pure transport ride and we'll see how that goes. I like the bridge here, so I'm going to divert it about here. Just pause the operation of that um, train, get back over there, and we'll now, yeah, that kind of works. All right, that's good. So from here, I'll need to tunnel through. Uh, am I still at the zero? Why did I just change the, change that? I needed it at zero, and we'll be heading straight through that ridge. Let me aim for the middle of that lovely rock section. Oh no, he's still curving. And that's nice, I don't mind the curve, I think the curve's good. Um, but we are going to have to start dropping down. 
So remember, I don't want any more than that seven degree slope, and that's even too much for a train, but hey, we need them to get down to ground level pretty soon. Uh, that's all right. Let me see if I can get this one back up to zero and see how much zero is as well. Because what I want is, I'm hoping zero is just sitting just above uh, the ground. And in fact, I think it is. Um, and that, that tunnel portal is narrow. Why is that so narrow? Okay. Okay. Um, well, we don't want that. Let's go a bit lower. Now, I want this down to the ground. So let's kind of do that. Oh, hang on. Okay, but if I go here and bring that up, is that going to put it on the ground? Yes, it is. I think we're now touching the ground. Train has come out. Uh, train. Train needs to go back in. So if we imagine a station here. Let's put a station in. We want the station, we want them to get on and off. On the, that side, I think is good. Ooh, it doesn't like that. Why doesn't it like that? Um, intersecting terrain. Oh, yep. So it doesn't like the depth that we're at. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Because this might be... This might be... Shane doesn't know how to do this. Ooh. Okay. Uh, let's go to... Uh, let's jump out of that and go to terrain and just make sure flatten to foundation is what's happening and we're all foundationing. Yeah, because that might have been just that mountain raising up. Um, and we can do something about this section over here. But this all needs to be flattened to actual game foundation. Um, and that's cool. Edit Z-Track. Uh, okay. Uh, hang on. So, we'll be straightening up. Boo. Why are you doing that? Why you do it? Ah, oh, here we go. Um, right, it's, it seems to be heading upwards. Uh, let me shorten the pieces. <laughs> pieces are shortened. Um, and at this point, see if we can drop it down. Yep. It's a little bit off the ground there. Um, and it's also heading slightly out. So let's see if we can make it head back out here. I think, then again, I think the only thing I'm worried about is the shadow there. I think we're going to have to use some good lighting. Um, Hmm. And see if we can get the stations in. That's pretty good. The stations would now work there. So if that train's got four, if that's got, hang on, if that's got four trains, mm -hmm. I think we were making it so it's got four bits. Yeah, I think that was the idea. So on the other part of the train, I think it had four carriages. Um, so we'll go with four here as well. Uh, and then if I go to utilities, I should now be able to... Okay, why is it doing that? If I go back... And I want four, but it fitting nicely. Yep, if I go to utility, and now we start to rock and roll. Um, Hmm. I think what I'll do now, ah, oh, yeah. All right, uh, I think what we're gonna do is, cause I don't want this train, so I, I was thinking about maybe tunneling the train here. So let's, let's do so, let's drop him down, seven degrees, ooh. About seven. And another one, so he's deep. Is he deep? He's not deep yet. He's in, He's under the ground there. And in fact, we'll go one more, because these are short pieces. So that's the depth. So he's a fair bit under the ground. I'm happy with that. Um, and then bring him up to zero, so he stays at that depth. 
And now this next piece, straighten him out. And now we head back underneath. And I think he should be, if he's at zero, he should be staying um, at grade. Um, and where's he got to get to? He's got to get to, he's got to come back out and get up here. So at this point he needs to head, go a bit longer. Yeah. Uh, can we do, how long can we do these pieces? Yeah, that's good. Um, and he needs to head this way. And he needs to go up a tiny bit. Good. And he needs to come up a tiny bit more. 12 degrees is a, a big amount for the train. Ooh, and straighten him up. Yeah, straighten him right up, please. Ooh, is, she having, is it having rendering issues? I think it is. Or not rendering, but frame rate issues. Um, yeah, I suppose those are rendering issues, aren't they? Or maybe I'm just moving it the wrong way. Um, but I'm heading, I think the idea is I'm heading to this piece. So let's have a look at the elevation there. Um, I think he's a good elevation too. So I might sort of auto-complete it. Should we try auto-complete? Yeah, I'm glad the undo, oh, what's happened here? What has happened? It should be well under the ground. Um, I don't know why it was, because it's, I think with these you either go left or right, um, let's see what's happening, so if I, oh, he's way too, way too high at that point, okay, let's go back, let's go back, and let's swing him, straighten him out, that's good, and look at elevations, and bring him down a bit. And back down quite a bit. And then I think, let's see if he. Oh, God. Let's just see where he comes out and what the sitch is going to be. Somewhere here. Uh, he's come out into the water, that's no good. If he goes up a bit. Um, he, he's doing all right, he just needs to bend back around and then when he comes out, we'll get him to connect in with the other part of the track. So at this point, I hit these ones. Ooh. Yep, that's good. And um, damn, I need to... Need to grab the other side of it though. Damn. How do I get out to the next piece? Oh, I've lost it through the tunneling. I have lost it through the tunneling. That's no good, that's no good, that's no good. Um, if I go... Control Z and undo what just happened. Yeah. If I put this piece there, but swing it back. Put it back to zero. Hang on. Uh, ooh. All right. Now, how is that? That's actually a pretty good one. So if we put it there, we know the piece will stay there now, uh, hopefully. And this one here, remove. And I'm not going to auto-complete it. I'm just going to try and connect it straight to there. And now, now we should be good. Right, that was all a bit of a nightmare. Um, but do you know what? That might have worked. Um, I really hate what it's done here. I don't like how it's rendering the holes and... and oh, Oh, what's it doing? Maybe I didn't make the track deep enough. Um, should we go terrain? Flatten the foundation. Uh, Roughen. Flatten the foundation and just 
kind of hmm. we might have to just here we go I think what we might have to do here is just make this mountain range a little bit bigger so we've got train portal coming out there and in fact um, yeah we can have a nice little flat ride in a, a canyon there that's not bad actually uh, we're gonna put a lovely flat ride out here um, and they can walk through there so that could be good for future expansion how we going with that mountain yeah, it's not bad uh, it doesn't have to be huge so that's kind of good I wonder if this is enough room here for a um, a lovely um, uh, what is it I just don't like how it does the rendering um, but we put a nice mountain here as well I think if we um, are looking to put in a um, a log flume I think that's kind of a good area and this I do like if there's a bit of a mountainous bulge here so let's just do something like this and we'll roughen it like there's no tomorrow um, because that looks ridiculous yeah well that kind of fits the theme a bit doesn't it yeah that does fit the theme quite a bit uh, I think we're trying to get away from that roughening around here though um, that might be the last bit of roughened sort of um, terrain that we do but yeah let's have a look here we don't want to go too crazy don't go too crazy um, good I'm glad it just zoomed me out to the back of that um... oh god what's going on here uh, cool all right well that's good I like that it goes down into here and it disappears and gets back to the other part so I think that all kind of works um, people get on and off the train on this side which is good um, so we'll uh, station 32 place entrance um, we put the entrance up the front no we put the entrance yeah up the front and we'll put sort of here place the exit put the exit here and connect the entrance path now is an, now's an opportunity for us to change our paths as well so um, what are we thinking we use these wooden cues I'll try this stone slab that could be good We've got angle snap happening yeah we do uh, we do but we need to ooh. Hang on. we don't like any of that okay so I need uh, well basically what I'll need here is um, damn I need a I need to make this one shorter and why am I zoomed out so far? All right, let's go. So we're looking at right angles. Let's let's make this 45 so we can, you know, we, we know we like 45. Yeah, that's good. See, that's better. You know, if we like 45s, we like 45s. But, you know, that's what we should do. Don't like how close those two go to each other. That's better. I like that. Um, let's go for a nice little windy path here. This kind of works this just works um, we may have we may have gone too close to where the the other path is going to be yet yeah, we have so it's you know so this episode was going to be about log flume um, well we're getting there we're sort of close to the log flume in fact we're creating a way for our guests to be able to get to the log flume I just don't think we might get to the log flume it might be a next episode um, so 
and change that length down to one. Okay. Uh, oh, come on. Left click, right click. Here we go. Um, all right. Uh, ooh, yeah, about this. See, now I've changed the length. Those. Okay, so those. So now that I change the length down, we're getting different curves. So we're not happy with that. But if I get back to two, they're similar. So that kind of works. That gives us a chance to put something lovely in there. In fact, there's enough. That is enough. Okay, so that's our point of which we want a uh, straight path along here. Um, God, I hope that's enough room for the log flume. Nothing, say, pylons for the log flume can't be sitting out on other parts, like, um, you know, these, these bits over here. We'll see how big the log flume needs to be. It does need to be the world's most best and complicated log flume. One big drop, um, a couple of dummy drops, and we should be, we should be right. Um, is that a 45 degree? It doesn't look like it, but it might be. Uh, let me see if I can put a giant, big, thick path. It's, is that a... yeah. We've got the, a giant cobblestone path here. Yeah, it's not, it's not really sort of... All right, now if I go to, what's happening there? Is that path? Yeah, well, why is it put railing on ground? Don't do it. Curb on ground, yes, but not railing. Yeah, cool. Uh, so now we're sort of getting somewhere. Are we getting somewhere? Are we not on the ground? Ah, oh, we're not on the ground. Good. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, ooh, in that case. Oh. No, that's fine. We can do that. We can have it sort of, we can have it like that. Oh, we could even put, we could even put some water in there. Oh, that could be really cool. Okay. But at this point, we need to go down to the ground. So, uh down to the ground yep and we are we're there that is the ground path now if I go to um, thickness and I go the biggest thickness I can now do that and then from here on in I should be able to do that that looks ridiculous why does that look ridiculous yeah, don't like any of that. So let's go grid, and we'll make this path big and... Yeah, okay, so we've got our initial sort of path, um, and this is, this is basically where the guests are gonna be. We'll just keep it three wide at the moment. This is our main thoroughfare of this part. Um, and the ride queue for the log flume will come off this, but we're just trying to get the entry and exit points happening for this tacker, um, this train station. Uh, so we'll go back down to width, four meters, and this one here. Let's keep the same theme going because it's got a bit longer, um, but let's keep the same theme in case we decide to go with that water thing, but we essentially want it to be like that. Oh, hang on. Ooh, that's no good. Length one. Oh yeah, that's not gonna work because we want this one. Length two, that's better. And where do we drop down? Yeah, about here. So keep it up one more and drop it. Oh, and you know what? I think that perfectly lines up with what we wanna do. So if we are looking at putting this train station around some, um, this, this whole section around some water, um, that will kind of work. Um, but again, that's the future. So uh, uh, now that I've got that happening and paths, <clears throat> and I want the guests to come out here and do something. So let me just put shops and facilities and go other, no, hang on, custom, and put a focal point, a vista point. Yeah. Let me put a vista point here and on this vista point let me get them to look come and come out here and look at the train station set 
focus. Can I do that? Um, so we need to put something out there for them to look at. Okay, let's go to scenery. And we'll put in um, a tree. But not that tree. A tree. And at the vista point, we'll get them to... Hello. Click on it. Oh, good. Good. All right. Set focus points. And hopefully the Acacia tree, or Acacia tree is good. Yep. Okay. So guests now should come here and look at that. And let's make sure this train is running. So open the trains. Um, let's go to operation though and increase the, <coughs> increase the, Amount of trains, cars per train, train speed, 10 miles per hour, cars per train, three. Let's <clears throat> change this to number of trains to three, cars per train should be four. Oh, I've made the station long enough. It's interesting, that train's got four. This one should, is only, I've only left enough room for three. So, what do I need to do there? If I go edit track, can I then go, this one's got one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so we've got trains banking up. That's good, good, good. Let me see if I can now go to the station. Edit track, edit track. This one. Edit track, that's interesting. And here I want to go station. That should be four. And now utilities. It's not, it's three. So if I go station. If I go utilities. Come on, you should be able to fit four on there. Please. Okay, let's see if that works. limit exceeded right that is done this station station 32 place an exit we'll make it oh here we go we can actually just sort it out that's good uh, if I go to here, I should now be able to change the uh, minimum rider load, any load. And uh, don't block the train, priority pass. It's not that station I want to look at, it's the whole thing. Go to settings and we should, ah, oh, Casper train three. Why can't I do four? Okay, let's just do three. Um, but what we'll need to do then is go and make this one three as well. So for the whole thing, it's three, three cars per train. Yeah, that's fine. And number of trains are three, train speed, 10 miles per hour. So let's open that and see how it goes and if it gets a total bollocking. Um, I've also switched it to any load, so that should be good. Um, but I think you can do that at the station level as well. Let's see, station 20. Yeah, here we can go um, any load. Minimum waiting time, 60 seconds. Put that down to 30 seconds. And again, this is what's happening at this station. 
So if we now go to station, uh, what is it? Station. Okay. Alright. We go to station 32. And I check what's happening at station 32. The minimum is going to be 30 seconds. Um, right, the train ride's complicated, but I'm getting there. I think I'm um, getting it sorted. A um, little bit annoyed that I can't have my... My four trains, but I reckon I'll be able to fix that in between episodes. Um, sorry, my four carriages. Um, it looks like one left and the other one has now moved in. I'd like to check the spacing of these three trains. Um, and if we find that three trains is too many for such a small park and stuff, we'll, we'll, we'll you know, sort that out. Have a look at the rendering there when you do this. See that gap? Look at that. You zoom out and you get the big gap there. Oh, I don't like that planet coaster. Please don't do that. Okay, future area. Um, <clears throat> no one's come through yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. No one has come through here yet, um, but the first train should be arriving shortly. Let's see if there's any people on it. Please be some people on it. Has the train come through? Has the train come through here yet? No. The train should be coming out here any minute now. Uh, what do you got there? Or has it already done that and it's gone back into the other section? We shall find out. Train's running at 10 miles per hour. Here he is, here he comes, and there's the train. That is not bad. In fact, I'm just gonna take a lovely screenshot of that one. Yeah. Um, this train, all right, let's see, is there anyone on it? No people, great, good. No, it's good, I mean, you know, no people, but that's all right, it'll complete its circuit at least, so that's fine. That's a test run, is it? <laughs> uh, the other train has left. And the third train is is also left. So the third train should be coming. Yeah, there he is. He's coming across here. He'll also have no people. I'm interested to see whether the other train that left the first station has got any people in it. Here it comes. Still no people. Not a soul. A ghost train. Um, are there people in the park? Yeah. Okay, let's... I mean, everyone's lining up here and carrying on like there's no tomorrow, but let's, um, there's some people, there's some people lined up and there's some people there. So let's hope these trains space out nicely. Uh, we should have a train that's heading through the mountains. Yep. And it's going to pick these people up. So we'll keep an eye on that. Um, we, um, we don't need to, is that a rendering issue or an actual, that's an actual issue, is it? Good. All right. Um, what I might do is just a bit of terrain editing to finish the episode. Uh, let's pull this up because I like the idea that when people walk in, there's a bit of a, um, a bit of a, a, a sort of mountain that they walk through. I think that's kind of cool. Um, and so we'll get the height of it. Um, I don't necessarily want them to do a tunnel. Um, yeah. Um, but a mountain is good. We will go with a roughen because that's a theme we've sort of had anyway. Um, that's not quite what we want. Ooh. Or is it? Do we want them to go through an archway to get into the park? Or just a... Yeah, that's all through there. Is that a train going through here? No, that's a boat. Um... Yeah, maybe an archway is is pretty good there to get through and see your park. Yeah, it could be nice. Okay, well, we don't need to make this... No, we don't want overhangs and stuff. We've got shadowing happening here as well, which I don't like. I'm just worried about the time of day and stuff, and I think I need to set it so the sun is directly above. Should I try setting it to 12? or? Um, yeah, let me try set the lighting to... Uh, why don't we set the lighting to 1? PM. Yeah, I, sh I probably should set the lighting to 1 p.m. and then we know the sun is going to be kind of straight overhead and we're getting, that's the proper shadowing that we're probably looking at. If we've got always the sunlight doing that, um, 
you know, oh, maybe. Yeah, because then we've got the beach in the sun, but we've got a bit of shadow happening. Um, this is very much in the light now. Um, yeah, I think the lighting's a bit better now. Okay, we'll set it to one o'clock as a default time. Uh, has any people gone over here yet? Has any people caught the the live train? They have? They haven't. They might be on it. They might be on the train, getting to the Vista Point. And going, yep, that was worth the trip over. Cool. What's uh, gonna happen with this mountain here? Mm. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen here, do we? Nope. No, we don't. All right, well, um, I just want to see these people get in here. Uh, where's the trains? What's happening here? Is, is it... Are there any trains? <laughs> Why? I think my three trains are all quite close together, and I don't uh, know... The ride is open. Why are there no train? Oh, here's one train coming through here. Have we got any people on it? Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, we've got people on it. Okay, the whole first carriage is full. So, I mean, that is steep. Uh, let's see what happens here. So he goes through the tunnel. Steam, steam train going inside a tunnel. That's um, so um, so realistic. <laughs> um, oh, actually, steam trains did go through tunnels, just not big mountain passes, but they went through um, you know tunnels. Why can't I have four carriages? I can definitely fit a fourth carriage. Okay, people have hopped out. We're going to end this episode. Next episode is going to be a log flume. These guys are going to walk out here and completely slag off this part of the park. And um, that's fine. Hey, guys. Come this way to be disappointed. This would look cool with water. This would look really cool with water. So we're going to do that. We're going to put the water in here. Uh, I didn't put supports. Damn it. It's annoying. Oh, I didn't put supports on the railing, on the um, on that. Why? Why is there no supports there? Okay, let's speed it up. These guys are doing that. Oh, the steam's coming through the ground. Okay, we're gonna have to fix certain things. I think it's not deep enough. Um, but what they've done here is they've come out here, and they are looking at that tree and going, wow, that tree is real shite. Uh, let's get the train back. Cool. All right, thank you. Um, please hit the like button. Please hit the views or share this with your friends. Hit the subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Appreciate your um, support. Leave a comment would be great as well. Um, next episode is definitely log flume time and I need to make some terrain adjustments to this. Not sure if going through the... Um, ground was the best option. I have a feeling I might bring that train back up and over, or it has to go deeper, but I need to fix the train situation. And also we're gonna have these three trains um, queuing up because this one's, yeah, they're all just too close to each other. All right, thank you, see you in the next episode. Cheers.